Dr. D's Global News and Liberal Arts. This video is about President Li Teng Hui, widely respected as Taiwan's father of democracy. Democracy in Taiwan is among the healthiest in the world, with a well-functioning two-party system, with the Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP, and the Kuomintang Party, or KMT. President Tsai's administration is composed of true experts such as Digital Minister Audrey Tang, and has been praised as one of the role models in the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic. However, it was not so long ago that Taiwan was ruled under an authoritarian regime with the longest martial law in world history from 1947 to 1987. The leader who created the vibrant democracy we know today was President Li, who served from 1988 to 2000. President Li passed away on July 30, 2020 at the age of 97. In memory of one of the greatest leaders in world history, let us look back at the earlier life of President Li. Mr. Li was born in 1923, in present-day Sansi district. Taiwan was under Japanese control at the time. An excellent student, Mr. Li earned a scholarship to study agricultural economics at the Kyoto Imperial University. After Taiwan was returned to the Republic of China in 1945, Mr. Li transferred to National Taiwan University in 1946. On February 28, 1947, thousands of Taiwanese civilians were massacred by the Republic of China government after an uprising against the corrupt government that had come from the Chinese mainland to rule Taiwan. Mr. Li was also in peril, but managed to hide in a neighbor's storage. This was the beginning of the so-called White Terror era and 40 years of martial law in which rights were suspended and many were imprisoned or executed. Mr. Li attended Iowa State University and earned a master's degree in agricultural economics in 1953. In 1965, Mr. Li earned a Ph.D. in agricultural economics from Cornell University. After a position as professor at National Taiwan University, Dr. Li was appointed as a Minister for Agriculture by Premier Cheng Shengkuo. After six years of dedication to the modernization of agriculture, Dr. Li was appointed as mayor of Taipei by Mr. Cheng, who had become president. As mayor of Taipei, Dr. Li implemented policies such as alleviating water shortage and advancing agriculture. In 1984, President Cheng appointed Dr. Li as his vice president. President Cheng passed away in 1988, and Dr. Li became the acting president. Dr. Li's power within the KMT party was initially fragile, but he managed to consolidate enough support to be officially elected president in 1990. He became the first president who was born in Taiwan, not mainland China. In his six-year term, President Li spearheaded major reforms for full democracy in Taiwan. He ended the 40-year martial law in 1991. He reshuffled the legislative yuan, which is the equivalent of the Congress, and had been sitting in office for decades. He also passed laws for the direct election of the president by the people of Taiwan. President Li also called upon the people of Taiwan to take pride in their Taiwanese identity, which has continued to grow and mature. The first direct presidential election by the entire Taiwanese population was held in 1996. Dr. Li was elected with 54% of the votes, despite the People's Republic of China intimidating Taiwan with its military exercises and missiles into the Taiwan Strait. Dr. Li did not run for the 2000 presidential election, and Mr. Lin Chen succeeded him as chairman of the KMT. However, Mr. Chen from the DPP won the election, and led to the first peaceful and democratic regime change. Dr. Li retired from politics and became a mentor to younger politicians, as well as a spiritual leader for the Taiwanese people. Taiwan succeeded in a peaceful transition from the world's longest martial law to one of the most vibrant democracies in the world. President Li was succeeded by President Chen of the GPP, President Ma of the KMT, and President Tsai of the GPP. With three regime changes, Taiwanese democracy continues to mature and evolve. President Li should be credited for building the foundation of this democratic role model through his passion and determination to build a brighter future for Taiwan. President Li's genius is that he continued to exert his fullest into his profession as an agriculture economist until the age of 65, mustering power 
without prematurely displaying his political intentions until the time was truly ripe. Many politicians often fail to do this. They would talk too much before acting, hastily jump to low-hanging populism, or fail to successfully navigate the rough seas of political rivalry. President Lee was different. President Lee kept quiet until he had mustered the necessary power and swiftly implemented democratic reform with determination and prowess. He consolidated power and gave that power to the people of Taiwan. This is an unmistakable sign of greatness and true patriotism. President Lee's endeavors were not for his or his party's good. It was for the future of Taiwan and the Taiwanese people. We would like to extend our greatest respect to President Lee, one of the most distinguished leaders and heroes in world history. Thank you for watching Dr. D's Global News and Liberal Arts. It would be great if you can subscribe to our channel.